This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, sir. No, so much loud. Why? Uh, actually, I'm on my way to my home, actually. Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't want to be late. Yeah, you can continue, sir. Uh, I'll just mute myself. Okay, okay. Is there someone else in the class? No, no, no. I don't think oh. so. Okay, so uh, if they, if, I even think, if they uh, join in the party, yeah. I I, I think the batch will uh, will comprise of me only. Uh, this batch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right now it is yeah, about you only. Yeah, for me. Yeah, that's great yeah. for me. <laughs> Okay, hold for a sec. Okay. Yeah, so Kashif, have you practiced anything? Uh, I'm really sorry, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. Just give me some Friday weekend, this weekend, I'll practice everything, sir. See, right now Hello? I'm not even taking one hour class. As you can see, I can I'm taking like 45, 50 minutes class. I'm giving you 10 yes, minutes sir. off, like early. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So okay, somebody join. Moita, can you unmute yourself? Okay, Kashif, you can mute yourself. Mohita. Please unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, sir. I'm fine. Thank you, sir. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. So you are okay. here for in this class? For Python Madam? class, sir. Yeah, this is Python class. And here for demo, right? Or uh, you yeah. want to join the batch? Uh, okay. For the demo class, uh, so. Okay. Okay. So can you tell me about yourself? So my name is Mohita Kumari and uh, I'm from Jharkhand and um, I have done Sarachi, Jharkhand Rachi. Okay, that's nice. Then okay. your and, education? Uh, I have done BTEC from Computer Science and Engineering and I'm 2019 class out. 2019? Yes, sir. So, and did you work anywhere in between 19 to 20? No, 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 I haven't worked. Okay, so uh, where you did your engineering from? From Ranchi itself, sir. From Ranchi, I have done. College? Name? Uh, CID, uh, it's a Cambridge Institute of Technology in Ranchi. Okay. okay, that's nice. And uh so have you learned any coding there like uh, basically you are from csc so obviously you have learned so what you have learned can you tell me like previous code like programming language any yeah i have learned uh, java and uh, sql i know and uh, python code i know sql means, is uh, query you cannot say sql uh, is a language yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. sorry yeah uh yeah so java i have learned and uh Python, uh, I have learned some fundamental, I know. And uh, okay. also, yeah, sir. So you have already done Python? Not uh, not a lot, means a basic, I know. Basics, I can understand the if you follow. Um, uh, advanced, the advanced Python, uh, I, have, I haven't learned about that, but the basics, I know. Uh, how to for loop, if loop, while loop, list tuple, set dictionary. I know all these things I know. Okay, so you have almost covered like what we are just uh, learning Kashif, right? Kashif is like, uh, he's like student, like he joined this batch very earlier. And right now we are studying yes. about operator today. So I okay. think you are step ahead, Mohita. Okay, so that's nice. You have, like you get the understanding and the gist also. Okay. All right. So today, what we are going to learn? Uh, today we are going to talk about operators, and later on we'll see if like 
how much like okay. how much like he gets it and uh, then we have to continue with the next thing like all uh, all types of operator like arithmetic operator or assignment operator comparison operator logical operator okay. you have learned all this right so i don't yeah, think yeah. So it will be hard for you so okay let's start for that today okay 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 sir. okay <clears throat> yakash if you have any doubt no no doubt sir no doubt <clears throat> Let's start the class. Yes, sir. Yes, my so is the traffic coming from your side, sir? It's really... No, no, not from my side. Sorry, it's from my it? side. Sorry. Oh, it's, yeah, okay. it's okay. You can mute. If you have any question, you can unmute yourself and you can answer. Okay. If, and please, basically, I prefer keep yourself on unmute. So, okay. So, Kashif, uh, we have done this, right? This is ours. No, this is yes, some sir. other class. We started operators. Yeah, so we this started is... operators. Yeah. This is like our uh, Srinidhi's class. That was our, our class. That was our class. I that, think. Was, that was ours. Okay, wait. Yes, sir. That I was think ours. This one is ours. Yeah. No, this is ours. Okay. That was Srinidhi's. Okay. So we have done the arithmetic yes, operator, sir. right? Arithmetic operator has been completed. Yes, sir. So till yes, now, um, Mohita, I'll tell that, okay, we have completed variables and what are the rules in Python, like basic rules. And then we have covered data types and numbers and strings also, like what are the condition strings, what are the condition in numbers and how to cast number in a string and the booleans we have completed. And right now we are on operator and we have completed arithmetic, right? So Kashif, am I clear till here? Yes, sir. Arithmetic operator has yes, completed. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, so sir. next is assignment operator. Today we are going to learn about assignment. Okay. So what is an assignment operator? Assignment is something like yes, you sir. assign something, right? Like if I say x is equals to five, you assign the value five to your variable x, right? So this is an yes, assignment. Sir. So just like that. If I say x plus is equals to like 5. Okay. So now what will it say? Can you tell me? Uh, it will be x, sorry, sir. And x plus 3. Okay. Okay. Just see okay. what will be the output. I'm running it for you. Okay. So. Let me just comment this. Okay, can you see now? Five plus five. So ten. that means, yeah, that, yeah, that means, means it's adding the value of x only. It's adding the adding the value of x and plus x plus 5 okay it's uh, it will be like uh, in mathematical equation if you say so it will work as x is equals to x plus 3 okay uh, how x plus 3 how, how where is this 3 coming from ah uh, okay 5 sorry x plus 5 see yes, where here we assigned x is equals to 5 right Hanji. yes sir then then we have what way that we have incremented it so this plus and equal to sign so x is equals to x plus 5 it will say okay this okay, is not sir. an like uh, this is not a new variable here it is the same variable what we have taken here on the above side okay okay we are just it's a okay. continuation okay. okay am i clear okay, sir. this yes, sign sir. means plus and equal to means x plus 5 okay Mm -hmm. means whatever value yes, you give, you give here. if you give six so it will be x plus six six okay uh, so okay let me just comment okay now can you see it this is 11 
Am I clear now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So next next thing came here the minus. What will happen in minus? If I use minus here, same thing. My, okay. Yes, sir. So just like that, and then there is a one more thing is okay. Like I did this now. Just comment it and say okay. Just say x to like okay. So what will this give? Can you tell me? So five to the power of five, I think. Five to the power of five. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. So where this is, is this three star, coming okay. from? Yeah. So I have given the value so to that. Uh, like, okay. See, okay. this is the sign of multiplication, right? Can you see here? Okay. Yes, sir. In, yes, so sir, this I is can. the sign of multiplication of five into three. So it will give you 15. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now okay, same with the division. So see how so we are assigning the value. Three. Can you see that? Can you see the my? Can you see my point? Here we are assigning the value. See here we are not directly so, doing x. Once we have defined our variable, we have just defined one set. Okay. And now we are just doing the assignment. These are called assignment operators. Okay. Okay, here we are assigning to this value and just doing divided by three or multiply by three or plus three minus three or modulus modulus of three. Okay. Okay, so so <clears throat> okay, so more, what will this give? Mm, wait, just so it it will give I think true true. Uh, it will work as true, so it will give out. No, it is true. a right shift. <laughs> yes. Uh, what? What you are going to say, Moita? Please. Moita, oh, you saying something? No, 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 sir. Yeah, I did something wrong here. So this is true Hello. statement, not the the. No, no, this now this will be a false. Yeah, zero. So false will be a zero, true will be a one. Are you learning yes, sir. this? <laughs> Yesterday, yes, this was sir. your question, right? It. Sir, where we use zero and one? If there is not, uh, if sorry? we use true and false always. Uh -huh. Yesterday, you asked me, right? Everywhere is true yes, and sir. false in this, in this question, uh, in Booleans. It was coming like two so and false. We didn't, we, so we didn't put like a uh, type. We didn't ask the type of it. No, we no, directly no, no. printed. This is, print this, is the, this is this is yeah. This is will print true. Okay, but here what we are doing here we are just printing in the value of true and false as zero and one. Okay, false is zero. Okay. True is one. Okay. So how it okay, is working? Because, because this is an arithmetic operation we are doing here. Earlier, what we were doing, okay. dividing, multiplying, and subtracting, or finding modulus, or something like that. Okay. So here, what we are doing, we, this is used in a mathematical term. Okay. In mathematical term, you cannot impute true and false. In your maths paper, did you ever use true and false? In probability, yes, sir, we you used it, zero uh, and one. Yes. Yes, sir. So your voice is coming and going. I don't know. I think that there is a network issue from your side. The voice, your the voice is coming and going. From my side, Moita, same problem for you Hello. also. Hello. So your voice Hello. is clear for me. I think Kashif, can you rejoin, please? I did it once. Sir. I'm doing it again. So wait. Yeah, please, please, please. I'm holding it. Okay. So okay, Moita. So you have done all this. Any hands-on you have done, like on Python? Like have you done any codings or like calculator making or like Fibonacci series? Uh, no, sir. That means I know the basics. I know, but uh, I'm I I haven't done programming like that. Means I can okay. if I will try, I I can. No, no. See. 
you are here for demo class you don't have to try i have to teach you you have to practice right yeah so don't worry so about that so my question and, is sir is that how it is working means x equals to 5 it is yes uh, haven't used this one this operator okay you haven't used this one see uh, earlier i i give the example of plus and minus did you get that yeah yeah that one i uh, that, so same thing like I that see here this is was this was the assignment okay this was my assignment to my variable okay what is my variable here x okay here the variable is x is equals to x greater than like this okay like 5 is there okay so just like that here it's coming true and false so 0 and 1 okay if i do no, this no, no, as yeah uh, what is the uh, meaning of double uh, sign means i use this one it's like a left shift and right shift but not yeah. like that no no it's like uh, in mathematical term have you used uh, greater than equal to yeah but uh, that was that time it was single so answer, but here, here you are using yeah double. but here equal to sign doesn't matter okay here equal to okay. sign doesn't matter the main operation matters is this can you can use as single also let's see what happens here okay it's saying 5 what happened greater here? than 2 yeah so whatever greater than 2 it will give you that okay but i want yeah. which number I, is it true or false because it is condition this is used in a condition okay, okay? when i okay. say my condition okay. let me either give me true either give me false okay so it okay. is giving me true see true and false it means zeros and yes. one can, uh, yeah yes, yes yes exactly exactly am i clear now is your question has yes, been answered sir. yes okay. yes okay yes, kashif have you joined yet yes sir i can't Yes, yeah, okay. sir. I joined. So, am I okay? Am I clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. This is a pencil. Okay. So, next next operator is comparison operator. Okay. Comparison operator. See, name by naming, it's all clear. What does assignment do? Assignment is assigning the value. comparison what will it do yes, either it will give me equal to equal to uh, okay so comparison is this okay x is equals to y so it will be say equal okay here we are not assigning the value here we are saying the value is is equals to 3 okay means if i say x is equals to 3 okay So here hmm. x is equal to is equal to y means y is is equals to y is also three. Okay, am I clear? Yes, sir. Both of you. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Yes, sir. You know we are not saying that y is equals to three. We are not defining it manually or hard coding it. Here, yes, with the sir. help of this operator only, we are just saying y is is equal to the same value of x. Same x. yeah because we have all only defined x is equals to 3 right that's why the value yes, of x so the next question uh, like uh, like next important thing is when we do equal to then we have not equal to how we say not equal to in python any guess do you have any guess i'm sorry i'm sorry what did you say sir not equal to not equal this to that this is called that. not equal to okay this is called not equal okay. to this is clear okay yes Next. sir this is very easy just like guess with me and you will learn it okay so okay. what will be this this is the easiest one greater than x is greater than i okay yes sir What is the next one? Less than. Okay, I don't have to say that. For greater than uh, means uh, yes, like sir. greater than or equal to. What will you do? Any guess? Greater than or equal to, sir. You have assigned already, na? Equal to is double equal sign, and greater than is the greater. This is different. This is different, Kashif. This is not greater than equal to. Just now, I cleared this confusion with uh, Moita. Okay. 
See here. Here, what happens is that is equals to doesn't matter here. Okay, is equals to is just saying that next operator will be assigning to this either. Okay, let me just run this. See the you will see the difference. Okay, can you tell me the output of this? If I print x, what will be the output? Any guess? Sir, so, sir, I think it will be two. No, it will be five. Why? Because the greater number will be there. Okay. Let me have. Oh. What is saying? Five. Okay. Five, sir. What if? Yeah. What if? Uh, okay. Just two. now for a condition. Okay. In mathematical condition, like we don't want hmm. which number is greater. We want the number is greater or not. Either true, okay. either false. Then okay. equal to equal, uh, like uh, greater than, greater than. So it's saying one. Okay, sir. If it will be false, okay. it will be saying zero. Okay. Is the confusion zero. clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. So now what will you do here for greater than equal to? Uh, so greater than. Greater than and equal to. <laughs> yeah. Is it in the name? <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So less than than equal to also. It's exactly like that. Am I yes, clear? Ah, uh, you are very clear, sir. So less than equal to it's done. Now the next topic of operator is logical. Okay. Logical operator. Can you even tell me, anyone tell me what is logical operator? Any hint? And or not? Okay, Kashif, have you learned gates in yes, class twelfth or ten? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and gate, not gate. Exactly. Yes, sir. Flip flops. So and or yes, not? Sir. Okay. Okay, sir. There will be but they'll oh. come later that will be a different operator okay okay sir so we we say those semiconductor as oh. logical circuit am i right those are logical, logical circuit. circuit yeah flip-flop yeah. we call it in layman yeah. language so just like yeah so so how to how do okay so this will return true if both the statement like uh okay. let me hash this all because it won't print and i haven't assigned a value here so say logical operator requires input right yeah everything requires an okay. input yeah if, if there won't be any input how are you going to do it so x is yeah, yeah. less than five and suppose x is less than eight so what will happen here if I listen, it will be shown as uh, X is less. Uh, I don't know, sir. You don't know? Okay. Don't worry. So here, let me just print it and show you. It will print only the statement which is true. Okay. True. Okay. X is. So both are true, sir. The return true. It will return true because 5 is greater than three okay uh oh okay we have okay. used here five so five let me use just three okay so here here we use x is equals to five right so five is okay. greater than three so this is false and five is okay. less five, than five. eight okay can you so see the that, statement? Is, that both, one is, yeah, yeah 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 that one's true in both okay, the so statements we just put five okay. yes so why is it showing uh, false? Why is it it isn't showing x is smaller than a? Uh, x is smaller than it. Because, because here, if we use five, okay, the first statement. What is the first statement? Is it true the or false? The first statement is false. The first statement is false, and the second yeah. statement is true. So why is it in, why isn't showing and the here, true statement? And here it's an and operator. Yeah, and operator. Okay. So, okay, let me be more like, yeah, I use the same operator here, right? So let me just yeah, do this. Uh -huh. 
Now again, what so will both happen? Both of them are false. Both yes. of them are false. Both of them are false. Here five false. it is. Except yes. And here in three but also five it is, is false. Yeah. Yeah. Not getting this. So is it working like uh, logic gates like uh, true, 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 false, 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 true, false? Is it working like that? No, yes. no, no. Huh? And condition here representing like if both condition will be true, then the condition will become true. If one yeah. condition will become huh. false, then it will become false. So it's work like that and operator as logical. So here we are using that's why we are using a logical. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was. My, that was I was saying. That was, that's yeah. I was saying. In orgate, yes, what will happen? In orgate. So. In all that, if one condition will become true, then answer will be. I mean, if one answer is true, then uh, uh, it will be true. It's like a it all like conditions in a logical operator. One really. and zero like means on and off, and it will be on and on and off and off, exactly like this, Moita. What's sir, that? or condition? Yes, sir. sir. Or, yes, sir. Or, yes, sir. This is uh, no, no. This is false. Sir, or yeah, gate is... only works when both of the condition match each other. If on, if one of the condition doesn't match each other, then it's totally false. Otherwise, it will only work when both of them are true or both of them are false. Yeah. So now you get the point how Moita explained yes, you, sir. like in your terms on yes, this. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, what? I didn't get you. Means, what is your question, sir? I was just asking that the way you explain, yes, right? Zero and one, one and one, zero and yes, uh, sir, like yes, zero sir, and yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was just writing there. Was, <laughs> yes. yes, sir. So I was praising you, Moita. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I thought that I was wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, That's no, why no. I let you explain it. Right? I'm wrong. That's why <laughs> you are telling me that uh, I, I just explain something else or what? No, no, no. You are right. No, no, so, so what will happen? Okay, now, uh, Kashif, this is for you. So, yes, sir. or or okay, now let's do a not get. Okay, what happened in not? So, who is going to explain first? Let me know. So, x is suppose less than three, and. Okay, what will happen in this? And value is here, okay? X is equal so, to 5. Please keep in mind. X is, X is equal to 5 greater than false. It will show as false, sir. No, it sure? will show as true. True, sorry, sir. It, it will show as true. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Sir. I write AMD. What is not? AMD. Why is it? And yeah. add. It's a spelling it mistake. Will... At the first point, okay, you was so right. I was right. So right. It will be a false. I'd... What happened in not get? Everything gets reversed. Am I right? Moita. Yes, sir, my all concept, my all electronic concepts have been, you know, <laughs> rounded up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, you will get yeah, it. I never use not. Sir, I never use not uh, in um, in this conditions. Means for not, we are using that uh, before you use the. Okay, just uh, remember that. Uh, see, see, see. Okay, okay, Mohita, just answer me this. Okay, uh, if I remove, what will happen here? Can you tell me what will happen here? What is the output of this? Five is greater than three. It's true, and five is less than it's false. So should I run it? Yes, and sir. you don't think it's a true, right? So, but it is a true. Mm, why? Why did you say it's a false? I'm using and there. Oh yeah, yes, sir. Uh, not I haven't seen. It's not here. It's not. I didn't see <laughs> that you remove not. I'm see. just. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. 
So I, I was trying to explain you yes. that yes, if sir. not is what is the function of not? I was just telling you that. OK, so see yes. not does whatever your original function like between that, whatever the result of that, either true, either false, it will yes. just reverse it. OK, yes, it will sir. just reverse your output and give you yes, sir. right now. This condition is true. OK, this and condition okay. is true. But when we use a not here, it will turn it into false. False. Yes, sir. OK. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is reversing of order. OK. So now next comes is R. OK, this is only in uh, logical. I haven't told R because I think uh, you got all the hint of R. R. OK. Yes, sir. So print. Okay, Kashif is like very confident. The next question is for him only. So tell uh, me no, I didn't say anything. So. <laughs> no, you said yes. So the question is for you. No, sir, I, uh, I yawned actually. I just came from office. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry. Okay, stop <laughs> kidding now. Answer me this. What do with the output of this? This is all gate. X is just like how you understand and get just exactly like that i think we already explained or so fast 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 so true I it's it only two true. thing either true either false just say anything yeah it's a true thing sir it will be it will print it's as true. true yes sir okay I believe. So you are saved. Uh, how how is it true, sir? How is it false? Okay. So what was the uh, what? How how did you come to that answer? It was true. Yeah, the x five is greater than four is true, and five is less than five is false. Five is equal to five. No, so, it has so zero zero in between that and one in between that. Where the condition is true, put a zero, and where the condition is false, put a one. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Okay, you want to explain him? I think he'll understand you better. <laughs> Are you nice, sir? Yes, Don't say so like that. Like... <laughs> okay. Sorry, sir. I didn't understand. I really want that. I just explain or not? <laughs> no, no, no. Just explain. It's just similarly, explain. like. Okay. It's similarly, like and and or get what we are understood in a logical. Okay. Yeah. So here no or means yeah. So here or means it's like that. If one condition will become true, then the answer is become true. So first condition is our true and second is false. But here it is a or condition. So what we want, we want that if one condition will become true, the answer will become means our answer is become true. So here it's uh, that's why it's here it is answer is true. Now you got it. Okay. Since I confused you. <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. No, I think uh, I just confused okay. you. No, I got it. Okay, just wait, just wait. Okay, uh, Kashif. Yes, sir. I'm giving you an English statement. Okay, I'm telling uh -huh. you, Kashif and Mohita is learning Python. Okay. Yes, sir. True. And my second statement is Kashif or Mohita is learning Python. Can you tell me the difference uh -huh. between the two lines? Sir, the second is a question. Uh, second uh, is a different statement, uh, but uh, the first one is like you have. Uh, it's it's true that both of our both of us are studying Python, but uh, the yes. second statement is not what grammatically what correct. Like. See what happened in Mention. or that either one, either one is for sure that learning, that he or she sure. is learning. Okay, sir. Okay. Now you get the point yes, of sir. and and or. Yes, sir, I got it. <laughs> Even you have a doubt, ask it, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, I, I got it, sir. I got it. Okay, okay. Don't be pressurized. <laughs> so the next thing is membership operator. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh I haven't told you is and not, right? Is not. Okay. Yes, so sir. next is identity operator. This is called identity. Yes, sir. Okay. What happens in identity operator? I'm sorry, sir. 
so in identity operator there are two operator is and is not okay suppose i say x is equals to uh, uh okay please ignore if the spelling mm, is wrong yes, and suppose no okay so, y is equals to uh yeah okay so y is also like this only i'll change it later okay so now as you can see both are same right now yes, i say z is equals to x okay that day i told you about variable how do you put uh, numbers in a variable in different way right yeah variable sir. like this one x, x comma y comma z equals to 10 comma 20 comma 30 yes sir. right and x is equals to y is equals to z is equals to 30 means it will give you every value is equals to 30. 30. so just like that consider here z is equals to x what does that this yes, mean that kashif and moita is the value of both the variable are same right same so yes sir so i want to print x is z okay first yes, thing sir. i want to ask so true. Is, x is z true. so what it's saying okay true. Is true yes okay now let me change one this to okay let's change this to sunil okay and Okay. Why is Z now what will be the output? False, sir. False. Okay. So now you understand what is is and what is uh, is not. Okay, uh, is not is left. I'll tell you is not. So now you yes, understand sir. what is is. Is will just find either it's same or yes, not. Sir. Okay. Just okay. like I have given here, uh, like in string also, I am teaching Kashi. Yes, okay? sir. In not just like that so is it in the text no, or not? not so just like that it's working as is here okay and okay. suppose if i do is not okay what will happen okay is not of why is the not output of this? wait sir it's it print? true yes so true right okay now you get it yes so from this point i'm clear till this point both of you, am I clear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Next is membership. Okay. Membership is nothing, as I told you in the string, in, not in. Okay. This is a membership operator. Yes, sir. So if X is in Y, then it will print true. If not, it will print false. Okay, and false. for not in, it will just reverse it. Okay. Uh, okay, reverse means it will give it is true or false, it means it is there or not, or it is there. Okay, okay. so let's take mm -hmm. an example same x is equals to Kashif and Moita are learning. Okay, so I want to know that. What was the question here? Am I used now? So let's use mm -hmm. X. No. Moita learning it's same. So what will I use? R in X. Okay. Mm -hmm. Print x so here can you see this variable is changing okay first is going in this variable then it's going in this variable then it's going in here okay so what x will it print okay. it will print the last one so, true yes huh yeah it's showing true because it be? it's checking whether it's true whether, no uh, yeah it will be true but I'm looking for something else. Why did I teach you this on that day? Sir, uh, you did wanted to say that uh, this is how we find out something is between. Is it there or not? In a string, right? 
Okay, I was teaching you yeah, how to explain. find values in the string. Is it present or not? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And you told that day also that we'll teach and we'll study this in detail in membership operators. Yeah, string for string. Okay, okay. So this is in and there will be a not in also. Okay, just like is and not is, uh, like is not. So here is not in. False. So it will be false. Okay. False. Now, two, three, three. okay. Now, advice, I don't think you need to learn. So the next topic we are going to learn is I think I have completed variable number string. Anything left in operator? Am I missing something? Or should I start with the list? So, okay, I, don't I think list is another new thing. Okay, Kashi, what do you know about list? So, uh, tuples, range, I think something like lot that. Of sequential sequential lot of list. Conversation on yes, a lot of conversation yeah, on list. Sequential list. Type yes, is sir. List. Sequential list. type. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Sir. And uh, Mohita, did you know how does a uh, string works? Like, uh, means uh, indexing works in a list. Do you know? Yes, sir. What's up? Do you know how to find an index in a list? Yes, yeah, sir. Suppose this is my list. Okay, yes, wait. Sir. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Zero, three, six, five, three, seven. Eight. Can you give me value between four and seven? What will be my output? four to seven? What so it print? is means you want a value of four, five, six. Yeah, I want a value of four, five, six. Four, so, five, six, seven. Uh, I want till seven. I want this. Okay. Okay, so here we are doing, uh, we will do slicing. So LST, uh, we will write LST in print. Okay. And then square bracket. Okay. Then from uh, position 0 and 2. So we will start from the 2. Okay. And colon. And uh, mm -hmm. one second, sir. 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, then 6. Six. Yes, sir. So it will print seven till seven. Sorry, zero, yeah. one, what two, if three, I have four, to... five, six. Yes. Okay. What if I want only seven? Uh, then we will give a value like a, a zero, one, two, three, four, five, five. In a square bracket, we will uh, give only five. Five. And what yes. about negative indexing? I will learn negative, uh, negative indexing. Uh, negative indexing, yeah. So uh, from where you want? Means if I, I will start from See, there. I want four, five, six, seven. Start, okay. Okay. So um, four, five, six, seven. So, so I don't know. Means from last we are starting, but the uh, group of number I don't know how to print. Minus one, we cannot start from the minus Hello. one. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Hello. Uh, sorry, my voice, my voice was not there. What did you say, please, Larry? Can you repeat once? Yeah, so I'm just telling that uh, group of number I don't know, but if I want to print eight, then uh, I can. Uh, Directly print minus one, then it will give me the yeah, value exactly. of eight. Okay, Kashif, do you know this indexing and slicing? I told you, right? In last class only. Kashif, is he here or left? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, uh, yes sir. I'm sorry. I put it on oh, oh, mute. I'm yeah, sorry. don't put it on mute. mute. Please, please, please. I have to check all and I lose the focus. So, okay. So, uh, I so think uh, I remember this. I remember this. If we put uh, okay, list, so uh, if we put zero in down. between. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it will be yeah. like two is two minus two. Okay. What will will anyone can can tell me what will it give? Both of you. Four. Uh, four, five, two six. Four minus six, two, zero, one, two. It will give only four. 
Four, no. five, six, and seven, I think. Four, five, four six, only. seven. Yes, sir. That's it what I said. Four, five, six. Yeah. Yes, sir. Why did Minus you say Moira? Yes, it will yes, give you yes, four. Yes, no, no, no. Yes, sir. Sorry. So I just thought. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Go ahead. No, no, it's no, okay. no, no. I got it. I got it. How it happened? Uh, it happens. I got it. Okay, so you know the concept of inclusive and exclusive also, right? This is exclusive inclusive. and this is inclusive. Like if I write five. So, so if I want, so if I want to print my uh, eight, seven, six, five, four, then how I will? So how it? You will just work? have to reverse it. Just reverse it. Minus two. Okay, two you minus. Can use the function reverse. What's up? Minus, minus two to minus five. Sir, it will show what? us minus two to minus no, five. No, 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 it will not be like minus that. two to minus five or minus five to minus two. What, what you are saying? Sir, the answer He's, for Mohita like she's, is she is asking, see, she is asking what you will you do if you want to reverse the list, okay? Right? She is asking that she wants the in output of eight, seven, six, five. Am I right, Mohita? This was you asking, yes, yes sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So how will you do that? You have any like passes? Sir, minus five to minus uh, five, two, three, two, minus two. I think uh, minus three, minus five to minus three. Well, as a realist, we'll use realist. I don't know the realist. Realist? No. Okay, I wasn't okay. writing anything. Okay, okay. there is nothing so we'll such, the, such as realist. No, we'll put we'll put list and inside the bracket we'll use the range. Uh, minus uh, minus five to minus three, I think. The first thing is this reverse list, okay? Okay. The reverse R capital I. Reverse list. Hmm, reverse is not working. R e v e r s e. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Um, Okay, so Sorry, as I did here, no, 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 wait. So this is I did. Sorry, my mistake. Okay. Yes, sir. What can you see here? It's on six five four three zero. So I it want to print or... till. Yes, sir. I want to print yeah. till four. So how it will work? So you want to print till four. Oh, that's, uh, huh, so minus minus so five see, to minus three. See, 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 see. While you are coding, just go for a easy logic. Right now, I was able to print this or not? Tell me. I was able to print the reverse list, yes. right? So I'll yes, just sir. put it in a new value called x. Okay. Now I'll just what I'll do? I'll say print. What you want until four, right? Eight, seven, six, four. You want Moita? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So zero is two. Uh, like what you say, x. Now you can do simply like this. You want till four, so it will be zero, one, two, three, four. That means you have to use till here. Okay. Okay. So what can we? So can you do one thing? Yeah. What? See, uh, is it, am I able to answer your question or not? Yes, sir. This is what you wanted, right? Till four. Yes, sir. Am so I, I want to. Yes, sir. Sir, if I want See. to print in one line, means in a LST, in... like in. A... What okay. are you saying something like are you talking to something? Someone. No, no, sir. Tell me no, no. Okay, so what do you want to know? Just tell me. Okay, this was your I question asked. or not? Actually, I have another class, so please. Yes, hurry. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. This yeah, this is my questions. So I was able to answer it, right? So yes, sir. should I pass? Okay, I pass. So, okay, Kashif, uh, I'm, I'll be starting list from tomorrow. Okay, uh, the function, okay, there are some sir. function in list, but basically, you know, indexing and slicing, the major thing you uh, like basically you want. 
and i want to explain something kashif here see like the mohita's question was this is a simple list right and interview question yes, they majorly ask this type of question what will uh, like how will you pre uh, print a reverse of a list okay yes, there are two ways one is reverse i don't know why it's working i think i have done something wrong and another thing is double colon okay like this can you see this okay yes and sir what does my minus one why did we put minus one here because in negative act we are doing my, a negative round right we are just negative rounding yes, this sir. yes yes for yes, minus sir. one if you want it just eight we'll just do minus one and we'll get eight am i right yes sir yes sir so just like that we are telling it that okay from minus one like we are reversing it okay if you have to reverse this just okay. memorize this part okay this is a very important question and actually mohita asked a very good question okay majorly okay, you have sir. to study or practice this but actually it is a good question so sir can't you just put the range minus minus 1 to minus yeah. 3 minus 1 to minus 3 we want to put here ha. minus 3 yeah yeah ha. yeah instead of double colon we'll just put the range minus 1 to minus 3 Okay, you want to do like this? It will this. not print. It will not minus print. Minus one to minus three. Wait. Minus one to minus three. Wait, Moita. Let yes, see. Sir. I'll tell you your question by just providing you the code. Okay. Let him just be clear. So it's an empty list. Why, Kashin? Where did you go wrong? Uh, I don't know, sir. I'm sorry. I don't. Know. This is minus one. This is minus two. Okay. This is minus three. You are going to from here, okay? Next, you are saying in the okay. exclusive value or the second value, you are saying minus three. When it is here in minus one, how it can go to minus three? It's going to stop here. The first okay. part always go from here, okay? Go towards okay, that. Sir. Okay, you can do minus three to minus one. Can you do it, Moita? Okay. Minus so three to minus put... one. I'm asking you a question. Yes, minus sir. three. Yes, yes. To minus one. Can we do it? Yes, sir. Now you get my point, Kashif. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I I get you. Yeah. Okay. So, and Moita, you have any other question about the course or about the curriculum of Python? Um. Yes, sir. So means uh, this is the. Core Python classes or uh, uh, means what you will teach in a Python training, sir? Or... Okay. So right now, uh, as you already have learned Python, okay, like on the theoretical basis. So I'll tell you how I teach students. Okay. First is my core part. Okay. Right now these are building blocks, variables, data types, and numbers are building part of any programming language. Am I right? Boolean yes, operators. Sir. These are building blocks. The second part starts yes, on the sir. core part. Core part. What comes in core part? It comes classes, inheritance, or object-oriented program because Python is based on OOPs. Am I right? So yes, sir. then there comes that is the core part. After because if your base is not clear, base is basics. Basics comes. This is all our basics. Okay. This is all our basics. They will become yes, like sir. list and dictionary. There will be more. So basis of all on this building block i'll go to core part okay in core part there will be classes object functions inheritance polymorphism okay which is majorly used and majorly important for your python okay that comes in the core part the next part we go to web development and uh, especially flask training okay flask is a lightweight uh, framework okay we we use web page to make this uh, actually i have one so i'll just show you so till flask uh, like flask is like advanced python okay core python then advanced python okay then after we go to django okay, okay. both framework you will teach sir yeah okay so wait let me just check once if i have i'll show you the flask uh, i think uh, yeah this is flask name yeah I'll show you the Flask code, okay? How I work in my Flask. So this is my app, okay? Can you see app.py? Let me remove all this. Yeah. So can you see my, this is app, okay? This is my app I build. 
for my company tech stories okay so let me just stop this stop let me just run this okay so here on this server like internal local host it's running mm -hmm. so if i go to here so can you say this this is the flask app okay here i have all like i did everything see i have uh, used sql to connect it then uh, i made a home pages and all okay mm -hmm. i have connected to database right because user has some input and i want to store it then i have done this html pages like this is for the demo part because i won't be teaching you html as you all know how to use html i'll be showing you the best basic flask but basis of on this okay so this is the blog post i made and this is new blog you can write anything here Ashif and moita and author is sunil and then post is learning flask as advanced python okay just post it so, so here it is posting so, uh, so uh, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? Can you say it again? Sir, so, so which database you used? Which? Which database you have used? Oh, which database? I use SQLite. Database Lite. means my SQL. Uh, SQL, uh, SQL Lite. Yes. Yeah, I know what is database. I'm just okay. saying fast. Okay, and here SQL. Okay, and SQL Alchemy. Okay. And during file okay. handling, so, I will uh, tell you about MySQL also. Like how do you connect MySQL to your Python file or PyCharm? Okay. Okay. So this is on the advanced part. It's very advanced part. You will learn this so all, all when you have a clear, a clear understanding of core and the basic. Okay. You can delete also directly so there's one more thing this is all bootstrap as you know what is bootstrap and all this is website of tech story this is all i made in the class okay just for interaction so that everyone will be like attentive because everyone to know how it's working and all okay am i clear Moita, what is the yes, advanced sir. part here so here sir, from uh, can you please add one more data on it? One more data? Yes, sir. Means what do you want Moita to add? Uh, sir, in a. Uh, if, yes, hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah. So in author yeah, yeah. uh, in uh, yes, sir. So in author name, if I will write only one, two, three, four, it will print. This. No, only for one, two, three. No Mohita, no uh, no string, only one, two, three. So it will validate my author name or not, sir? Can you see your author name here, one, two, three? Written by one, yes, two, three. Sir. Yes, sir. Because see, rocks are anonymous. Sometimes it is anonymous, sometimes it's a text, or it can be a username. Actually, what I wanted to do, I wanted to do a login page also. So for the next class, I kept it like as it is so that they should learn about login page also. That's why it's not completely okay. here. And basic thing is I'm not here to teach you how to make a web page or how to use a HTML or how to teach you a bootstrap. I'm here to tell you a Python and how to make a web app on that. Am I right? Yes. Sir. My part is not on HTML. My part is not on bootstrap and my part is not on anything like regarding to web page i'll tell you what is regarding to python okay and how can you make a web page and how easy to make it okay and like what you have to do see in simple lines of code i made this app okay can you see it with the help of just definition def 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 this is class and object am i right yes sir so just like that i've done nothing this is all bootstrap as you can see so i'm not going to teach you all this i'm i'm i will be telling you the basic like how to when we use title when we use h1 because some people are like they don't know anything about html so for them i'll tell them uh, the tags okay but 
this is not for the class. For class, it's only like what is going to be in the app. How do you connect it to the database? How can you make it interactive? I can tell you how to make it interactive. How can you make a background like this? How can you make everything like that? Okay, but web page and web app or development, it's not my part. My part is Python development. Am I right? The course you're opting is yes. Python development. So I'll be teaching you everything on Python. Okay. So any other question, Kashif? No, no, sir. Okay. So that's all from my side, guys. Good night. Have a great day. Okay.